Welcome back here to the channel. Today I'm going to be making an Easter project, Easter cupcake, so to speak, and I already made some embeds with cold process soap this time just because I wanted to change things up a little bit and also not to have the issue with the sweating. So I want to see how these turned out and I think they are really cute. The egg and then the bunny. So I'm going to unmold these. I do also have some flowers that I piped with cold process soap, different types of um, daffodils and daisies and cherry blossoms and so forth that would also fit to, to this theme here for Easter. For colors, I do have um, a neon color. It's uh, Electric Bubblegum by Brambleberry. And I went ahead and mixed it with the lightweight oil here so I can then just comfortably mix it to the butter. And I have some titanium dioxide in case I need to tone it down. These bunnies here were made also with this electric bubblegum and I just like the pink look of these. And then I have for the piping part this pistachio mica. I'm gonna leave some links for options in your area. And then I have a lemon cake uh, fragrance all already measured out and ready to go. Now for the piping, what I like to do, first of all, I'm going to choose the piping tip that I'm gonna be using today. And my go-to tip is always the French star, just because it has many grooves and it gives the piping a nice shape, so to speak. To make the workflow easy, I'm just gonna add the pipe. To the bag, I'm gonna twist it, turn it in my hand, and then put it in a container so I can, when the batter is ready, just comfortably transfer it in here, and then the batter won't leak out, and I'm gonna be ready to pipe. I'm going to put this aside here, ready to use. The oils and the water are at a good temperature. I don't want to be too cool because I need the batter to be quite thick so it will be pipeable. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add the lye water solution to the oils. I already added some sodium lactate in here to make unmolding easier. And then we're gonna proceed with the coloring and then the fragrance. Stick blend to emulsion. I'm going to go ahead and split half of the batch in here to make two different colors. The bottom layer is going to be pink. And then the top part here is going to be green. I'm going to go ahead and give this a mix. Looking good. So I don't need to add any titanium dioxide, but of course it's always good to have it ready if need be. Okay, we're going to put this one here to the side and we're going to fragrance this portion and give it a mix. Just with a spatula, making sure that everything is nicely incorporated. And now I'm going to go ahead and pour this one here into the mold. So as you can see, meanwhile, the green batter already thickened up quite a bit, which is great for the piping. I'm just gonna give it a quick mix here with the spatula, with the fragrance. So the batter is at perfect piping consistency, so I'm going to transfer it into the piping bag that I prepared here beforehand. I do have a separate video on piping. Now we leave it down in the description box.
turn and squeeze on the bottom and then a smaller one on top. And here we go. I'm going to add a little bit of this um, nurture soap glitter here, biodegradable glitter, to give it a little bit a sparkle, because why not? And then I'm going to spritz some rubbing alcohol on top to prevent soda ash. And now we are ready to decorate. So these embeds here are a little bit too big, but um, let's see if it can work anyways. I'm trying to add it here like so, why not? The bunny and then the Easter egg. So I'm going to let these sit for 24 hours and then come back to unmold. It's the next day. Now I'm going to see if they are ready to unmold. So what I like to do is take such a cookie sheet or a baking tray and then I just take a simple baking paper. Not that it's really needed because it is stainless steel <clears throat> so it won't be a problem if I just add soap to it but you know I just like it that way. Let's see. Pretty cute. Here they are, all of them. They are going to cure now for about four to six weeks. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested, please check the playlist here on the screen where you will find many other soap related videos. I see you in the next video and until then, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.